Welcome to the Rajendra Tandon videos. Today I take up a very interesting topic alcoholism. Facts as well as the fancy. When a social drinker cannot cry halt, he is said to be suffering from alcoholism as a disease. The person does not know or does not want to know when to stop drinking. He starts drinking when alone and wants to hide his habit from others. For ages, man has consumed alcohol to forget his sorrows, to lead him into the realm of happiness. John Keats listened to the full-throated music of a nightingale and wanted to become one with that moment of happiness. He thought of taking, I quote, a beaker full of the warm south of vintage that has been cooled a long age in the deep dabbed earth, drinking which he could leave the world unseen. What a great idea. What would you do outside the world? And fade away into the dim forest with the singing word. But Keats was romanticizing the effect of wine on the human mind. A moment later, he decided to give up the idea of taking the assistance of Bacchus and his leopards and switched over to reaching the bird and its music. In his words, on the viewless wings of poesy, the poet was back. This was definitely by his decision because the alleged euphoric effect of alcohol is a myth. In fact, alcohol dulls the brain and retards its activity. Alcohol is basically a drug. It is consumed more than any other drug by man. It is produced in numerous varieties, packaged with great ingenuity and sold through massive publicity. Unfortunately, Alcohol is used most of the time to the disadvantage of man. No form of alcohol, however mild, whether wine or beer or cider, can do good to the human system and health. It is a fallacy to believe that alcohol stimulates the brain. In reality, alcohol depresses the brain and slows down the various centers of control. That is why a person who has taken a pack too many finds it difficult to articulate his words clearly, falters in walking and many may sometimes sleep into a coma. An overdose of alcohol can lead to nausea, vomiting, wild gestures or the uttering of incoherent words. When alcohol is swallowed, it goes into the stomach where a fraction of the dose enters the bloodstream through the blood vessels of the stomach walls. The greater the percentage of alcohol in the liquor being consumed, the greater the absorption at this first stage into the blood. This is the reason why drinks such as beer which have a lower percentage of alcohol content take a longer time to affect the behavior of the person consuming alcohol. For the same reason, the adverse effect of whiskey if taken neat is manifested very soon. From the stomach, alcohol has to pass into the small intestine. Proteins, fats and other foods retard this passage. The carbon dioxide in soda water accelerates this flow of alcohol from the stomach into the intestines. That is what makes whiskey and soda more dangerous than whiskey and water. However, the human body cannot contain any outside entrant for a long time. It has to be eliminated. This elimination process has its own rhythm and delay mechanism. If the passage of alcohol into the intestine is rather fast, the removal mechanism cannot cope with the job. 
most of the alcohol that goes into the body is oxidized by the liver and converted into acetic acid which can be used by the body but the liver cannot do the job beyond its capacity as a result any excessive intake of alcohol in a short period of time cannot be handled by the liver perforce it continues to circulate with the blood stream affects the brain more and more causes intoxication and the resultant aberration in behavior and other problems any person who is fond of alcohol should remember that the liver cannot process more than a quarter of an ounce of alcohol in an hour any dose larger than this puts a burden on the capacity of the liver in the long run this damages the liver cells and may lead to cirrhosis of the liver which in turn may be fatal the biggest asset of the human body is the brain alcohol is the one drug which causes maximum damage to the brain it affects on other organs of the body or via the disorientation of the various parts of the brain to begin with alcohol affects parts of the brain which control thinking and learning the person who is drinking cannot concentrate is no longer alert and cannot perform arithmetical exercises as efficiently as a normal person who has not taken alcohol would do as thomas bacon the english philosopher and essayist put it for when the wine is in the wit is out great since ancient times it has been thought that wine make it glad the heart of man that's written in the bible psalms 104 and 15 but in reality this is a mistaken notion in the bible itself we find a contradiction wine is a mocker it is written strong drink is raging and whoever is deceived thereby is not wise proverbs 20.1 the second statement is more scientific the euphoria generated by alcohol is illusory the blood is warmed and so is the skin it is this warmth which makes people feel that they have reached the seventh heaven in reality the temperature of the body comes down because the heat carried to the skin is soon dissipated by its contact with the air it is a fallacy to believe that alcohol improves sexual desire and enjoyment make no mistake alcohol is no good in adding to sexual enjoyment because sex to a great extent is a function of the mind and alcohol dulls the brain the poetry in william shakespeare's play macbeth puts it succinctly it provokes the desire but it takes away the performance therefore much drink may be said to be an equivocator with lechery an intake of alcohol leads to frequent urination because it affects a part of the brain which regulates the functions of the kidney discharging water who does not know that a cozy evening of drinking is followed by hangover this is an agree disagreeable physical after effects of drunkenness usually felt several hours after the cessation of drinking the sufferer feels fatigued on waking up please note that barbiturates and a number of tranquilizers taken in heavy doses after an excessive intake of alcohol can cause death shun alcohol as far as possible in medical situations homeopathy has got a few ideas a person is bewildered and low spirited there is anxiety tension and depression give him apocyanum cannabinum mother tincture in 10 drops dose three times daily a p o c y n u m c a w n a b i n u m there is excessive nausea and vomiting the patient passes hot urine with thick mucus without much power of expulsion
Arsenic help 200 is very, very effective remedy for those who thirst for alcohol. The medicine has to be continued once a day till the habit is considerably reduced. Drinking leads to vomiting as well as to diarrhea. When a person has an intense craving for stimulants, but he vomits, he is excessively peevish, irritable, give capsicum 200, C-A-P-S-I-C-U-M 200. A great medicine for people who are addicts is Nux Vomica 200. The patient is fond of excessive drinking and stimulating food of wine as well as of women. He sleeps late and wakes up with hangover as well as indigestion. Cannot tolerate noise, smells, light. There is nausea in the morning, vomiting on account of excessive consumption of alcohol. The best remedy for a man who has taken a peg too many. For chronic alcoholism, sulfuric acid 200 comes in. The patient cannot drink water unless mixed with whiskey. At the same time, he cannot tolerate food. Umar Khayyam the Persian poet and mathematician wrote of converting wilderness into paradise with a loaf of bread beneath the bough, a flask of wine, a book of verse and his beloved singing beside him in the wilderness. Very romantic thought. People recite those stanzas again and again. But in reality, every day liquor ruins millions of homes and converts paradise into wilderness. Thank you for listening to me, to this, seeing this video. Shan al Kohal. Give it up completely if you are taking it. That way lies your health, wealth and prosperity. That way lies the happiness of your family, of your wife, of your children, of your parents. Bye-bye. Meet you next time. Soon.